everyone welcome back to javascript evangelist so uh, in this video we are going to check uh, uh, what are web components and shared dom components are an old fantasy in the development world something that uh, you can grab off the shelves and drop it into your app something that would work right away bringing needed functionality to your users um well web components uh, they are not that completely new uh, we have had uh, components in web development for quite some time uh, but they usually require some kind of dependency like jquery dojo prototype uh, or angular js so um, a web component uh, is consists of custom elements shadow dom template and html imports this uh, emerging standards is defined in angular for specifications so let's just uh, jump into pure javascript uh, on how to create a custom element uh, to create a custom element uh, all you need is uh, document.register element so i'm just uh, going to do that so i'll just name my custom element as uh, je element uh, je stands for javascript evangelist so document dot register register element and uh, we are going to uh, give it a selector uh, please note over here uh, a selector should always have a hyphen uh, so that uh, html knows that it's a custom element okay so we have registered our element now we need to append it uh, to our body so we are just going to do uh, document dot uh, body dot append append uh, child and we are just going to add our newly created je element uh, as an instance je element and if you uh, just check this or inspect element over here uh, you can see that uh, we have successfully added je element into the body so we have appended a je element but since it doesn't have any uh, html or text inside this body uh, Uh, of this uh, je element uh, it's not showing up so let's just do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add uh, it's just a simple h1 tag inside uh, my je element so to add uh, an html inside our element uh, we we'll need to use uh, inner html but inner html uh, but inner html is a uh, it's it's a method of html element so we we'll need to uh, inherit uh, the prototype of html element into our uh, newly created je element prototype so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a separate variable called je element uh, proto equal to object dot create object dot create uh, is used to inherit uh, uh, a prototype of uh, uh, A prototype of some other element, uh, some other object into our prototype. So it's better than using a new keyword. So what I'm going to do is uh, HTML element dot prototype. With this, we are going to literally uh, clone, uh, kind of clone pro HTML element prototype into uh, our newly created JE element prototype. So we have the prototype. Uh, but now I'm going to uh, extend. Uh, so this is called polymorphism uh, j element uh, i'll just copy this j element dot created callback now you might be wondering what is this created callback or why i chose this method and this created callback is already defined inside uh, the prototype of uh, html element so it is it gets called whenever you are uh, registering an element so i'm just using that it's a kind of a life cycle method available to us so je element dot proto dot created callback equals to a function this function will trigger our inner html so this dot inner html equals to So I'm just going to add an h1 tag slash h1 and uh, welcome to JavaScript Evangelist. Okay, and uh, we should have that. <laughs> no. So basically, I've created the proto, but I haven't uh, added it to the uh, selector. 
or j element uh, element so i'm going to do that uh, after the selector tag j element uh, we have to append our prototype so i'm going to specify the prototype prototype equals to the j element prototype i'm just going to put it uh, in the next line and use, as you can already see uh, our element is already there okay all right so now uh, we have successfully created a custom element but now let's it's time for shadow dom so what is shadow dom um, so sh sh uh, so yeah shadow dom uh, the word sounds mysterious like it's it feels like it has some superpowers yes surely indeed it has some superpowers so shadow dom is a way to encapsulate uh, the dom of our component this encapsulation means uh, that the style sheet and javascript logic of uh, our app is uh, combined into that uh, shadow dom element so for example uh, let's see this so i'm adding a global style sheet global style over here h1 so i'm just going to select uh, set color red for all the h1 but you can see it is the global styles are affecting our component which is over here i'll just inspect this okay so if like if anything outside is affecting us uh, that component is not good so let's just create a uh, let's just give our element the shadow dom uh, powers okay let's do that okay I'm just going to hide the HTML tab. I'm going to hide CSS tab. The only tab which is open over here is JavaScript and the output. Okay. So keep note the red color is still active. Okay. Uh, I have added uh, some notes over here. Uh, so these uh, links uh, are useful for creating a shadow DOM. Okay. It's simple. Very. Uh, it's really simple uh, to create a shadow DOM. All you have to do is uh, uh, use a shadow DOM method. Okay, so I'm just going to create a variable called shadow equals to. Um, it's going to be uh, so this dot create shadow root. Okay, I made a spelling mistake. Shadow root. Okay, that's it. And I'm just going to say shadow dot in HTML, and it's working fine. Uh, also, you can see that. Uh, the global uh, h1 color styling is no more affecting uh, our web component and also if you inspect on this uh, you can see that uh, the shadow root uh, the shadow dom has been added uh, but to tell you something create shadow root is no more uh, available it's depreciated so we have to use uh, something called attach shadow okay so i'm just going to do just that uh, but uh, also I'm going to introduce you something called template rather than using the inner HTML uh, we'll actually uh, write a template over here and load it out into your, our JavaScript so I'm just going to visit this uh, Mozilla link and I'm just going to copy this I don't want to write everything so I'll just paste it over here uh, there are a few simple th changes which I'm going to do I'm going to give it an ID J j e element tpl okay also i'm going to add uh, our own style tag so that we can have our own styling and i'm going to set the color of our h1 tag to be um, blue all right and uh, let's just actually write the html for our tag h1 uh, this is uh, i'll say j element web component okay and we need to load this inside our javascript now okay so to do that uh, simply uh, of course i'm going to delete this part and uh, first of all we will we'll need to uh, query select our template so tpl variable tpl equals to uh, document dot query select selector and pass the id of the template that we wish to load okay now uh, we have the te uh, template but we need to make a clone of uh, the html so i'm going to create another variable called html uh, clone equals to and uh, basically we are going to import uh, the html node of tpl into our html clone so what i'm going to do is uh, we have 
one more uh, option available over here method available call input node I'm going to do just that so document dot input node and we have to pass the content of TPL TPL dot content and the second parameter is a boolean true so it asked uh, do you want to copy it deeply or not so I'm just saying that yes true deeply okay deep hmm so uh, I have imported the node and uh, let's see what is missing now okay the missing part is uh, remember earlier I told the, that uh, create shadow root is deprecated now so instead of that we need to use uh, something called attach shadow so we'll just uh, do that this dot uh, attach shadow and uh, I'll just say um, append child and we have to append the uh, child that we just created the HTML uh, clone and it should work but uh, attach child uh, requires an argument uh, called mode and mode should be uh, either open or closed uh, I'm not going to go deeper into modes uh, uh, you can uh, read more about it over here okay so yeah our shadow uh, DOM is working fine and if you inspect on this you can see uh, the shadow root is closed and uh, our styling is applied over here and our HTML element is working fine so yeah we have uh, created a web component uh, using custom element uh, template and shadow DOM okay there is one more thing remaining uh, that is HTML imports uh, I would advise you to try that out on your own it's very simple all you have to do is uh, instead of uh, loading the template over here we can load a template from an external URL you have to use uh, a link and relation uh, set it to import and href is going to be the HTML uh, or the HTML file which will help uh, hold this content so that's it uh, from this chapter see you in the next uh, video where we are actually going to create uh, an angular 4 project and uh, which is going to be based off uh, uh, and restful API we'll also learn more about observables uh, and reactive programming in angular 4